Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on Stone Block 3 and as you guys can see I have a little bit to catch you guys up on. Well, as you guys can see we have a little bit of a new setup over here. This is new, you guys haven't seen this, we did this over on, on our live streaming and channel. The video is still on the channel so you guys can still watch it and we sort of automated this mana steel production. We also made ourselves an elven gateway in order to get ourselves some elven mana spreaders so this process would be hopefully a little bit faster and we also upgraded a lot this setup over here our hemp facilities because we were struggling a little bit just a little bit on keeping up with our hemp but if we even take a look over here we can see we even have like 4.1 million seeds because i left this afk for a little bit and if we go check our singularity Yes, this is the balloon singularity. We're getting close to that 2k sweet spot. And I believe all of these guys are already full. Yeah, they're all near the 2k, like this guy, or over the 2k. Uh, on this side as well, so we're only missing this 5. And one of those is the mana steel. That's why we're actually producing it a little bit. I think I need uh, like 140,000 mana steel ingots. We have like 30,000, so it's still a little bit off. And today, we are going to finish this guy, the blood magic one. So one of the first things we need to do is actually upgrade this bad boy over here. We need our ritual diviner and we need demonic slates. Oh, I picked up the wrong ones, actually. Uh, yeah, here they are, demonic slates. So if we just put these guys onto the sides... We put the ritual diviner in the middle and the slates we get the dusk version now the dusk version is what's going to actually allow us to do the ritual for the well of suffering that needs to go underneath this and we can also pick up the book over here while we're at it and we can check what we actually need to make the tier 5 altar if we go here yeah here we're gonna need a whole bunch of runes like 108 total runes and i don't think we have a lot of runes um we need at least 52 more than a tier 4 as you guys can see so we can actually just visualize this here and we can put the book here yeah there we go you can see where we need to put all of these runes and this is not gonna be pretty but we can actually go ahead and try and make well, some runes. Now, ideally, I would make them sacrifice runes. I just need a bunch of reinforced runes. Blank runes are also pretty simple and easy to do. And I also charged up our tier 4. I made the tier 4 version. Uh, and now we have like 380... Uh, 398, I'm sorry. So that's quite a lot. So let's see if we can make some sacrifice runes real quick. Uh, we cannot make the reinforced ones because we need this uh, intricate hellforge parts which we need to go into another dimension to do but since this is a direct upgrade from this version we can just make this version instead so how many can we pull out so we can pull out a stack that's kind of good can we pull out a stack of this we can okay that's pretty good so now I'm just going to go around, slap on these guys whenever they need to be slapped. We need some lights as well. I think this can be... Oh, no, it's a Hellforge block. Hold on. How do we make a Hellforge block? We need Hellforge ingots, which we need. Um, how do we get this? How do we get this ingot? Oh, wait, from here, right? But we need raw demonite, which we get from a Hellforge record, which you get from a raw block. <laughs> oh, Jesus, this is a circle. Well, I was kind of derping a little bit because in order to get those blocks in the corners here, I actually need to go and go to another dimension. But I thought, well, if we're going to do something, we might as well just get this guy up and running, right? Our well of suffering. I made a lot of uh, ritual stones, and here we go. We have this guy, so we should just right-click until it's done. Boom, complete. Now we have our Well of Suffering. Now, 
This guy is not naturally running, I think. Right? Because, I mean, there's no mobs. Unless it's damaging these guys. No, it doesn't seem to be damaging these guys. It's quite, quite a little bit far. So we're going to make a little bit of a mob farm over here. With four pieces of dreadful dirt. And I do believe that we can turn off our previous farm. And we can use the dreadful dirt we have over there. As like spares. Because this farm is done what it had to do. Right? It works <laughs> pretty well. Not going to lie. Pretty, pretty well. But I think it's time for us to repurpose it to something else. Okay. So I think I have most of the things ready so i have the cages we put dreadful dirt i give this like two space blocks so we can have like two mobs in there and we have a trash can with advanced hopper uh we can then later sort this so it deals with well mob things i can actually reduce the height so it actually only affects the stuff down here it will not affect in, in case I drop something up here. Because that would be kind of bad if I'm losing stuff up there. But yeah, now the only thing remaining here is for me to, well, activate this. Yes, it is now activated. You guys can see these guys are taking in some damage. Which is pretty, pretty cool. And if we go up here, we should, well, we're full. So if we start putting things here. We're not gaining things. Or are we? No, we are. We are gaining. We are gaining things here. Which is good. Which is good. We can actually speed up the ritual as well. So if we place this guy here. We're going to have the ritual sped up. And we're going to have the mobs here. Like spawning a lot more. So hopefully this makes it. I don't know why there's a bunch of things here. But okay. Uh, hopefully this makes it so that this guy can keep up. It is keeping up. Yeah. Oh, but this is not on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. This, is, this was not on. So if I turn this on. Woo, okay. So we need more watches down there. We definitely need more watches. We can put like three extra. Probably. And then we could just have three more pedestals. One, two, and three. So this should be quite enough to have a good source of blood on the altar. Now, this thing can all be toggled off as well. So imagine you do not want this to run for, well, some reason. You want to like stop your blood factory over here. Uh, I mean, I'm actually converting these guys to imbued. I am, I'm the, yeah. I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to speed this up. Okay, we're actually able to keep keep up with that. That's kind of good. And uh, the noise though, the noise is going to be an issue. Uh, but yeah, if you want to turn off the ritual, you just need a lever. You literally just need a lever. So if we do this, for example, we shut these guys off. And then we shut this off. Boom. That's it. No more noise. So I need to, well, toggle this on. And then go into this guy, the muffler. And I, I, I don't know how I can find stuff here. I, I don't know. I will most likely need some help because I do not understand how this thing works. Maybe if I type like zombie. Converting, imitate, zombie ambient attack, death, muffle sound. That work? Zombie hurt. You can disable anchors in the config. I'm not. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing. If you guys know how this thing works, let's try again. Zombie hurt. How do I check for zombie hurt? Here it is. Muffler. Oh. Okay, so if I type. Oh no no no. Zombie hurt. And then if I type skeleton hurt. 
And then if I type which hurt. Oh, it actually works. Ah, uh, yes. And creeper hurt. And I think this is our these are all the mobs that can spawn. Yeah, but as you can see. Oh, there's that guy. How how is that guy called? Oh no. Now we have the well running, but as you can see, it's draining our actual blood because it's going to our essence, our orb right here, and it's actually consuming from the network we have. So we can just pick up another blood altar like this. We can just literally pipe in fluid <laughs> with these guys. And as you can see, it goes. And I think they can technically be speed up or sped up. It shows like it's being sped up. I'm not sure if it is. And what you want to do is, well, pick your orb, whatever orb you're, you're using. And boom. Of course, it's going to drain. But you can see that our blood is actually going up which is pretty pretty good and are we done with this damn we're fast so what i'm gonna do is actually get a bunch of stone like a bunch of stone i don't think i even have the cmc yeah and while we're doing other things we're going to process all of this stone yep while we're other on our ways just doing things yeah but this thing do its thing we can just go ahead and put this guy over here we're not needing them and we will need this because what we want next is another ritual we want the path to something on the ritual list the pathway to the endless yes this is what we need you see we also need like 150,000 <laughs> lp which is quite a lot and a total of 69 runes the crystal we have well not enough actually i thought we would have more uh whoops now i wonder if this guy oh it doesn't okay it's it, it doesn't allow me to use that guy i actually need to go and use this guy up here yep so can i take you thank you and then we can po place it over here let's go until we have a stack of this two more we grab the orb out we place it back in there and we should be good now this is not actually handling charging our network and doing this thing uh i believe if uh when we get this to tier 5 which it isn't right now this will actually be able to handle it so let's go ahead and do this ritual right here i have to dig well another room this this thing is like taking a lot of space usually the mods don't take this much space but this could, this one damn uh, I, this is actually quite big as well, this ritual right here. So how big is this? This is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a, it's a nine. Oh, Jesus. That's that's quite, quite big. So let's go one, two, three, four. That's the middle. And then we have one, two, three. Punch. And we punch this way. We also punch this way and we are good i think i mean we, we kind of need to clear all of this as well just in case you know because we gotta need this <laughs> we're gonna need the space i know i know we're gonna we're gonna need the space so yeah we're gonna just slap on i'm gonna raise it up a little bit how tall is it like five six blocks tall let's place let's place it let's place it here if for ah, there we go so i want it to be centered here i think that's exactly where i need it to be and oh god <laughs> this would be like two extra blocks okay and i think the rest is on the perfect spot so we just grab this guy we place it down the middle and we should in theory oh yeah we gotta select this the pathway to the place that we want and i think i'm i passed it didn't i pathway 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 oh lord oh no i passed it 
Where is it? Oh, wow. There we go. Pathway to the Handless Realm. And we just right click until it's done. Which shouldn't take that long. Did I run out of blocks? 70. Oh. Oh, really? Uh oh. We kind of need more. More than what we have? That's 69. We have 69. Okay, let's, let's just take all of them. All of them that we have. How is this guy handling? It's 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 barely handling. Yeah, we can turn this off for a little bit. So our pool kinda has time to fill up. And we can just continue this here. Huh? What's what is happening here? Ah, there we go. Uh, it was just a bug. I reloaded the area and it, it everything just just fixed itself basically So let's go grab the activation crystal and some lamps because bro. This is just dark How do people like not light up their their bills like come on come on and This one and of course that one as well And now we can just activate it. We should have enough blood We do are we going up or are we going down? We're going down. Why are we going down? Because this is not good enough yet. Are we going up now? We're not going up. We're actually losing. We gotta get tier 5 fast. Okay, let's let's do this while we're, we have stuff. And oh my god, why are you so high? Um... Uh, Guess we have to deal with that and TP. Oh, here we are. And okay, luckily we got two keys. Now I think I need to look for. Oh. Okay, I'll 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 I'll, I'll take it. Thank you. And uh, I don't know I if they're any different. I think some of them are different. Uh, let's just shift X so you guys can actually see. Yeah, but they don't seem different. Yeah. Uh, everything seems the same. So what are we looking for? We're looking to finding a room. Yeah, they're all the same, right? Dungeon seal. Yeah, they're the same. We're looking to find another dungeon. Basically, we need to find a dungeon inside this dungeon because that's where we want to be. We don't want to be here. Aha, I think this is what we're looking for, but it doesn't use this normal key So if we go into the blood magic and we type in key Aha, we probably need either the this one the miners key or The forge the forgeman's key. It's either one of these ones Gain access to the mines. Yeah, it's, 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 it's probably this one which we need a hellfire a hellforged ingot which we haven't gotten yet and we need any of these wills we have some of these and i think i even left some in the chest behind us so we can go grab those ones and then we can make these keys but might as well just use the ones we have and there's a lot of dudes here die uh, to see if we can find wherever we need and i love this room because it has a whole bunch of chests a whole bunch of goodies Aha! We actually found it! Demonite! We have it. Now... If I break it like this... We can make this, or we can smelt it, or we can even just convert it using the... Chemical reaction chamber with some explosive powder or something. I don't know how we make this. Okay, it's quite easy. Uh, but we could also get demonite... Like in this in this form, and does it have the same things? No, because if we use these guys, we get three help forge sand. Ah, huh. so we probably want to silk touch this, which means we need our silk touch pick or paxel, which I don't know where it is. Never mind, we actually found one of these keys. That's that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good, and I don't know how. 
any of you guys like yelled at me yet for not upgrading my my bag <laughs> i really don't know how you guys never actually yelled at me for that but i really need to upgrade my bag because i'm still at like gold tier this goes like super super higher than gold tier i'm like i'm just like nerfing myself basically so does this key fit here it does and yes this is what i mean by finding a dungeon inside a dungeon well this is basically like the second tier of the dungeon which is well technically stronger and has what we want if we're lucky we, we 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 were not we were not and we also got another well no this is different this is the miner's key the other was a foreman's key a little bit so i went ahead farmed a little bit of miner's keys i made a few i had to actually upgrade to a greater tartaric gem and then i just been using this scythe over here because there's a whole whole bunch of mobs in here and hopefully we get what we came here for uh this is good that there's the more of this the Demonite, but we're not necessarily in need of it. This is a netherite pickaxe. That's actually pretty good. Uh, there's a spawner here. We don't really care about that. We need the chests from these areas. So this doesn't seem to have that many chests. Huh. What is okay? So that's not really anything that great, though, is it? And you? Nope. This is a bad room. Well, it is a bad room if you don't know what you're looking at. So I just started like vein mining this area and well, it, it's it, it's a bad room for what I want, but it's not a bad room. If you want this, this demonic demonite, this, that's definitely a lot of it. Oh, okay. 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 Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I'm actually now able to keep up with this and I actually turned off the particles over here because it was a lot of smoke yes i made a couple of these runes of sacrifices and like the the upgraded ones with the integral hell parts i got i think i got like six i got one two three four five six yes as you guys can see i switched every single rune to be a rune of sacrifice uh plus the reinforced ones and i'm actually gonna turn that back off because it was really helping me with the FPS. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And we're now actually able to keep up making ethereal slates, which is, well, amazing. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up all of these guys. And I'm going to just toss them into here. And this should all start filling up. And now I need to fill up this with, well, stone. And let this thing do its magic. Because I also believe that this thing should be like near the cap. It's going up there. It's not near the cap, but it's it's climbing. It's definitely climbing. And what else do we need? Yeah, we just need to fill this thing with stone. And we are set. This is not going to be enough. We're going to need more. Uh, but then this is automated. Ah, okay. We can now move on. And I can tell you guys a little bit more about this. Yes, I don't know if you catch it like in the corner of your eye through the video, but this is actually what we're going to use to put all of our food together to make ultimate stew. And just in case you didn't catch on the live stream, we already have 2k of these cosmic meatballs. It's actually pretty simple to automate because we have most mostly everything. We were missing a couple of fishes that we fished a little bit and then we used Botania a little bit. That's why this is this setup is over here uh to get well some mana steel and to change into getting some fish uh this is still to like to be used i don't think i actually use this for pretty much anything oh yeah i used to make these spreaders that's about it <laughs> and i shut that thing off because we reached the balloon singularities so we're good on balloon singularities finally and this had a setup which i recently broke that was actually giving me tons and tons of food so stop here like beef patties you can see we have a lot of minced beef and beef patties we can type in bacon for example we have 13k cooked bacon <laughs> we can also have some pasta for example which we are also cooking or in this case cutting because a lot of these 
recipes need to be well sent through a cooking pot and then like processed and then put back into my storage system i guess and i have a lot of these resources as well i kind of farm them as well the ones that we needed so the next setup to automate this is completely fill this wall uh everything that has emc i already placed uh like for example the top row for example yeah there's a lot of emc -able items so those are already in place but most of them are these recipes i already ticked off the ones that we haven't made yet now i need to go ahead and process through a lot of these cooking recipes which there's gonna be a little bit of pain but i think with these exporters we can actually use regulators to tell them well only one pasta goes in or and for example if you take like pasta meatballs yeah only one pasta goes in only one minced beef goes in we need we still need to make this tomato sauce you can tell it oh have two tomato sauce uh i'm not sure how we can make this uh have two separate things we might need to handy it we get we, we we gotta try some stuff and i know i know i know this is not pretty but it's functional uh i actually realized i had a couple things missing so this is uh my cutting board setup which is cutting me well salmon right here and it will be importing as soon as i tell it to actually start importing things into the system there we go and then let's give this a stack upgrade so it actually well pulls fast and i turned off these sounds because it, 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 it was pretty loud <laughs> It's getting pretty loud and is this not pulling anything well it's pulling this guy why is it not pulling you though oh it's the wrong place to put the importer the stack upgrade there we go so this is now importing basically the way this works is that i'm actually exporting some salmon and some mutton over here then I have these item transporters, placing them into the cutting boards. Then I have the dispensers here with knives that have a timer on a five tick delay. So it's then just outputting the knife, it's cutting it. And then this outputs the salmon. And I have this advanced collector, well, picking up the salmon, putting it into the chest or into the drawer and then the drawer gets into my system the same thing here with the mutton and over here i have two cooking pots uh don't worry why this is so chaotic over here is because i have a ghost block somewhere over here and i wasn't able to place this exporter on top now this is actually making me pasta with mutton chops because i already made well a lot of tomato sauce or tomato 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 basically and how do you do this well i have this exporter with a regulator upgrade telling it to at least try to always have 32 raw pasta 32 tomato sauce and 32 raw mutton in here at all times and the cooking pot area this area you have to export items into its top part and then from the side i'm putting in the bowls so this is now giving me the bowls and then I'm just importing everything back into my system. So if you type pasta, you can see we already have 1.1k total pasta, which we're getting up to that sweet, sweet spot of 2k. And we should also be doing good with this stuffed pumpkin, which is a little bit complicated. I mean, it's, it's actually easier. You just need to import pumpkins and then regulator on one for one tomato one sweet berry one potato one mushroom one onion and one piece of rice and then just some speed upgrades so it's actually faster i do have a clock here which is speeding everything up a little bit so because you're wondering why is it going so fast is because i do have a watch over there it is powered i just do not have the particles on and technically with this setup if i just wait around i can just keep switching recipes in these pots and then the pots will be done basically i don't need more pots i just need to wait and then it comes a little bit of a, um, like some more complicated recipes because i need honey to do this one i need chocolate to do this one and i need blaze cakes which means this is lava we have the lava we just need this the cinder flour to make this blaze cake base and 
there was another there was a couple of others that in order for me to do i need to do this yeah i need to import cook the rice and cook the mutton chop oh i didn't realize i need to cook the mutton chops okay so we might need to do something about that but we do need cooked rice which we should have tons of rice yeah uh, we have a hundred thousand rice uh, uh i forgot where i put the setup for my rice oh yeah it's right here yeah i think this you're 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 good bro you're good you did good <laughs> you did more than good how much how much do i have yeah i have a lot i i have a lot where am i using rice though Oh, I'm using it here, right? Yeah, I'm using it here a little bit. That's okay. And I... J oh. Wait. Ah, okay. I thought I had. Because I was actually farming this. I was actually farming s uh, straw. Because I needed uh, to make a couple of these. And then I had this set up. And then I realized, oh, I actually need rice. So I just put a drawer here with two netherite upgrades. So yeah, we're, we're good on rice. And then for my cooking recipes, I also have this this netherite furnace which has a uh, augment of smoking and an augment of factory which makes it be this beautiful guy and let's put auto split on and then we'll tell it to export raw mutton into this guy look at how fast this goes this is insanity uh yeah i'm just gonna go until i have like 2k i have 2k that's it it's done boom that that <laughs> took what five seconds that's it that's that that's all it needed five seconds and then this guy is crazy fast well some of these recipes are gonna be like probably a breeze as you can see they're going pretty pretty fast like the ones that i can actually use a cooking pot for and take a look here the pasta already finished the pasta with mutton chops at 2k i'm gonna do like 2k of this pasta with meatballs i'm gonna go with all of these ones first so it's gonna take me a while i was gonna do the other ones but the video is getting a little bit long so i'm just gonna end up the video here for today and we did quite a lot of things we did quite a lot of things and hopefully on the next episode i have all the foods automated so we can then get to the last few singularities because we're getting pretty pretty close yes we're getting pretty pretty close so with all that said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and see ya in the next one bye